Hi, you with me again, Rosie Stoker, but we are not at the High Park Cinema this time. No, we are at the View Cinema here in Leeds City Centre for the very exclusive and exciting first release of the film Francesca. If you look at page 19 of your booklet, it has all the information you could possibly want, so I shall not bore you. Also, there is a second viewing on Wednesday the 11th, which is very much worth to see, especially after you see the exclusive interview that we have with the actual lead role of the film Francesca. Stay tuned, it is not to be missed. Okay, here with me, Rosie, and a very special guest, Monica Bidlidana. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Excellent. Um, she is, of course, the star of the film Francesca. You play, obviously, self-titled Francesca. Yes. Um, for everyone that hasn't seen the film yet, there is obviously another screening that is on Wednesday the 11th, this next Wednesday. Could you just summarise, basically, why people should go and see the film, what it's about? Um... I, uh, the, the film is, well, well, basically it's the story of uh, a kindergarten teacher who mm -hmm. decides to emigrate to Italy. Um, this is a very current issue in Romania and probably Eastern Europe, all, all the country under the communism, um, have this symptom of, of trying, struggling, um, I mean with people struggling to find their identity. Therefore. Uh, she decides to emigrate to Italy and the film treats the decision to emigrate yeah. and the uh, you know the five days before actually leaving the opinion of the family the support of some of them the you know the problems and the obje objections of some other people around her it's it's uh, basically treats this it's uh, it's the story of a woman that is going through an identity crisis. And thinks she's got a better chance of a better life for her and her mum She, th she thinks so. But to be honest, I mean, Francesca, I always thought she was, um, she, she is a combination, a very weird combination and paradoxical of a woman who's very rational and logic and helps people, you know, around her, gets her boyfriend out of the trouble, uh, tones down her mother's enthusiasm yeah. and, you know, and at the same time, she's quite naive when it comes to... She to could be led quite easily by other people and other yeah, people's thoughts. Yeah, thinking about, okay, there is a guy w w who looks obviously suspicious and uh, he is the provider of this job in Italy. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, it's clear that uh, he looks suspicious, and this is not, you know, he n he's not what he claims to be. And yet, because she wants it so badly, she closes her eyes to um, obvious signals, alarm signals. Yeah. So she's a very strange combination of that. And what I liked about her is that she's a stained character. She's not perfect. She's, um, she's. Um, Look, the relationship, you've seen the film. Yeah. She has a very unhealthy relationship with her godfather. And mm. she she keeps that relationship. I mean, she perpetuates this habit that he has. Um, she's willing to manipulate to get what she wants. Exactly. She, she's not uh, an impeccable, a morally impeccable person. And that's most of the time what attracts me to playing characters anymore uh, anyway I mean the more damaged and broken they are the better I'm happy <laughs> yeah she does have a very strong sense of vulnerability like a very yes. strong woman um, but as you said she she really does struggle with the whole concept of really wanting something so badly that she shuts her eyes um, to a lot of what is actually reality and just how how do you feel that kind of relates on the whole gen how do, does the actual film do you feel speak for um, for a generation, for yes. For the majority of Romanians? Not the majority, but the, a generation, generation. Because, yeah, there is, a, there is a trend, especially with the, the young people, that are not, they don't manage to have a successful career in Romania necessarily, where they think, they just 
think they don't even try they just think fulfilling their dream would imply living in another country that could provide uh, that for them it's a bit naive to some of them it really happened they have gone and have been I have a friend of mine she is a very successful lawyer in Italy okay. but I also have a cousin who tends to an old man just like Francesca does so you know there are stories and stories depends what you have as a model and yeah it depends on what kind of area who same as in with any kind of society problems really isn't it I suppose okay so obviously as well there's been um, quite a lot of controversy especially with um, the granddaughter of Mussolini there's been like some issues yes. on that um, yes. do you sit do you would you think that for the sake of a couple of sentences um, that don't necessarily summarize how everyone feels it's been blown out of proportion because it has stinted uh, mm -hmm. to an extent your how it's viewed. there is a trial actually yeah. it's not um, I thought this was uh, this were just declarations in newspapers, but there is currently a trial. So, the release of the film in Italy will be decided. Actually, this the fate of the film in Italy in uh, in the next couple of days by a judge. Okay. So we'll know how they feel about that. But uh, to be honest, at the moment that m Mrs. Mussolini reacted, she hasn't seen the film. She heard that she was referred. I mean, she was. Uh, there was some references of her in the film, but she hasn't seen it, because um, I think her reaction was disproportionate to what is actually not taking fully into account the context. The, of her exactly in the film, and uh, I don't think the film is offensive to anybody. I think the film um, shows both sides. Uh, you know, the 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 filmmaker the. Um, Bobby Paonescu, he was um, raised in Italy, so Italy is kind of his half, other half of, of his ha home. So um, he would never do anything to offend against his uh, what he claims to be the other, her second home, his second home. Um, he loves Italy. That's why Italy in this film is portrayed as the the promised land. Yeah, um, as balanced as possible. Basically. Yes. And then just finally, just to end on, obviously it's the 23rd um, Leeds International Film Festival. Um, how have you found it? Is, it? is it your first one that you've been here to? First, uh, yes, first film festival, first time in Leeds. Um, a hundred time in UK though, but uh, I've never been to this part of UK. Um, it's fantastic. I thought it's smaller than it actually is, but I walked around and um, I, I think it's great. I'm really, I'm really, I'm really in love with Leeds. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. Well, hopefully we'll have you back. And yes, hopefully. Fantastic. Thank you so the much. Next show. Well, aren't you lucky people? I really hope it's actually made you just want to come back down here and actually see the film. Again, it's on Wednesday the 11th down here at The View. Um, what more can I say, really? Just carry on enjoying and supporting the 23rd Leeds International Film Festival.